This is part one of our food tour in St. Augustine. Come join us as we discover some tasty dishes. Our first stop is Farmhand Kitchen, located on North Ponce de Leon Boulevard. This restaurant is a small place that offers clean eating as everything is made fresh from scratch food. Hey everyone, we're at the first stop of our St. Augustine food tour. Um, we're at the Farmhand Kitchen and Coffee. We are ordering a couple of goodies here to try out and see exactly how it tastes. Uh, this place is located off of North Ponce de Leon Boulevard and we'll have to see what happens when our food comes. And really cool, it is all farm to table food, so yes, very interesting. Yes, that's right, it is farm to table food. We got the Stars and Stripe burger. Okay. It was kind of funny because when we ordered it, we didn't know it was a burger, but uh, here we are. So uh, we'll go ahead and try to see how this, uh, this turns out. Okay. I'm not against eating hamburgers, Did you me. put uh, any condiments on it? No, I'm going to try it out as it is, uh, I guess, naked or as, as it comes. But um, okay. I'll, I'll determine that from that point if I want uh, to add anything to it. Okay. So see what happens. Is it good? That's a good burger. Yeah. All right. And what did you get? So I got the same thing as you. <laughs> Stars and Stripes burger. Stars and Stripes burger. So, and I also got a Greek salad. Gonna... If you're a burger connoisseur, you will love this. All right. Well, I'm going to try it out. <laughs> I think it has pickles and lettuce, tomato, and bacon in it. Yeah, it looks like it. Yeah, it's called the Stars and Stripes. I would give this place a plus. All right, let's devour. The second stop on our food tour is at the Cuban Cafe and Bakery. It is located on the corner of St. George Street and Hippolyta. This place has been a favorite of ours for years. They sell a wide variety of Cuban food. You will not be disappointed with this restaurant. second stop on our food tour. Um, this is the Cuban Bakery and uh, it's something that we always experience when we come here. Uh, the first time we actually tried it was probably like 15 years ago and it has been the best Cuban sandwich I've had since we've been coming here, since I've been eating Cuban sandwiches. Best Cuban actually, sandwich in Florida. Yeah, the best one I've ever had in Florida. Yeah. So um, we're going to check it out and uh, hopefully it still lives up to all our expectations.
off the track. Ready? Now you take a bite. Alright, here goes the first toast. Isn't that good? Uh, the bread, right? Definitely. Yeah, our Cubans have arrived. Ooh. Let's try this. So, what do you think? Yeah. Very good, right? Like this one, I remember it. Flavor is baked yeah. into that. And it's got all this cheese. And yeah. So delicious. Definitely come to here if you're in San Agustin's. And you're fans of Cuban food. Oh my god, yeah. <laughs> this place is awesome. Yes, I can imagine all the other dishes are just as well, but. Mm -hmm. Our third stop was supposed to be the Columbia Spanish Restaurant. According to their website, it is Florida's oldest restaurant and opened its doors in 1905. Unfortunately, our plan hit a snag. So our original plan was to eat at the Colombian restaurant, um, but uh, apparently there's a two and a half hour wait, so I don't think we'll be doing that today. We're hungry now. Um, anytime uh, <laughs> you plan to visit St. Augustine, maybe call ahead or find out if you need to make reservations. Yeah. The actual third stop was the Rain Tree restaurant. It is located on San Marco Ave. The house is a restored colonial Victorian from 1879. The Rain Tree opened its doors in 1981 and is recognized nationally and internationally as a top destination restaurant in the state of Florida. Hey, we're at stop number three here on our food tour. Uh, this is the Rain Tree restaurant. It, um, it comes highly recommended by locals. So we are being waited on and we are hoping that we have a nice experience. It should be good though. First up on the menu is bruschetta and escargot. We decided on the escargot because our youngest loves it. So uh, here, you can take it and try it out. Yep, you can thank me. So what are you, you trying the escargot? I'll try the escargot first. Okay. It tastes like escargot? Yeah? Right. My turn. All right. Now Nicole. I've tried this on the Royal Ruby too. It was pretty good on there, so let's see. So, I don't remember, I spent two years. Just spent two years? Not bad. They're a little crunchy in it though. I don't know what that is. Weird. Mine had a little crunch. Maybe it's an extra shell. Maybe it was just cooked a little bit on the edge there. Now what are you trying? Now this is the bruschetta. Now we've had bruschetta in many places. We've always loved it. So, uh, Love bruschetta. Yeah. Let's see, this is a little bit of an interesting take on it, though. I've never really seen it like that. Usually, it's like just covered with tomatoes. Tomatoes but... and ba balsamic. Yeah. Yeah. This must be some kind of paste on it. Uh, it looks like a mozzarella or something. Yeah. Oh well. I'm sure, it tastes delicious. All right. Let's try it out. What do you think? Mm. Yeah. I think the cream has some kind of tomato. <laughs> I think the cream has some kind of tomato base in it. It tastes really good, but uh, yeah, it's interesting. It's not like any of the bruschetta I've ever had before, but it's like their own personal spin on it, so it's really good. Cool. Yeah. Finally, I'm down. Mm. Oops. That's attractive. <laughs> <laughs> Oh yeah, I taste the tomato in it. Yeah. It's pretty good. Uh, a little correction, this is actually a four course meal. We're, uh, we had our appetizers, we're about to have our salads. Uh, our main course is 
assumingly, in the way. And then we'll be having dessert. Yum. Yum. So I got the shrimp and house sausage. Um, this is my uh, main course. It looks absolutely delicious. Okay, let's take a look at it. Yeah. Ooh, that does look good. Yes. Yeah, the tables are kind of small here. Yeah, well, this, uh, it might just be this table. Yeah. Well, I mean, yes, the house is like 100 yeah. 1879, so. Oh, wow. Yeah? <laughs> That's probably a better, one of the better sausages I've ever had. Yeah? What about the shrimp? Oh, you got a little on your mouth. What, what is it? Go ahead and cut your pork up. I can't identify it. It's spicy. Yeah. It's really, really like a burn on my tongue. Yeah. But it's got a sweet taste to it, too. So it's probably like a sweet chili. Yeah, it's something like that. Yeah. I guess I can see what the noodles taste like, too. Okay. Oh, yeah. Could, could you help him with that? Good spaghetti. It's good spaghetti. It's a. It's more of a marinara base than a yeah. Yeah. Okay. All in all, I say this is a good one. Yeah. So I got the lasagna puttanchaza. I think that's how you pronounce it. I'm sorry if I butchered that. And then I also ordered the meatballs and the sausage to go on the side. That's a large meatball. It looks really good. Yeah, it's a large meatball too. It definitely looks really good. So it let's does. let's try it out. Very messy. Yeah. <laughs> All right. I can't get it to break apart. Mm. The sauce is really good. It's supposed to be a homemade meatball. Mm. That's a good meatball. <laughs> it smells good. I can smell it all the way over here. So Gage, what did you get again? I got the fettuccine alfredo with the shrimp. Yeah. Okay. You know, it's having to bring, bring your head. In. There you go. So this is the pork schnitzel, and I'm gonna put some lemon on there. Oh yeah, I gotta put the lemon on there, of course. <laughs> Pretty good. Yeah. Would you recommend it? Yes. Yes? So the food was good, but this side of the table had to go with the doggy bag because, man, it's way too much. So, but so. now we have dessert coming. That side These of the were table. the actual winners of the meal. <laughs> they ate all their food. But now the dessert's coming, so everyone's excited. Yeah, I'm probably only going to try a bite. Yes. <laughs> For our fourth and final course, we got a Reese's peanut butter cookie and a Bourbon Street bread pudding. Bourbon Street, Bourbon Street bread pudding. Yeah. Bread pudding. Yeah. Uh, we only got the two because uh, we obviously just stuffed ourselves and we figured it'd be a lot safer for us this way. Go ahead, you guys, you just grab a bite of the peanut butter one. I can already tell this is huge. Okay. Oh my god. Peanut butter cookie. I want the strawberry. <laughs> oh, they left the, the thing on though. You know mom and her strawberries. Alright, so I took some strawberry with it. Alright, let's try. Mm. Try the other one. Try the bread one? Yeah. I love bread pudding. I've been dying to look for a recipe for this. <laughs> Cinnamon, <laughs> whatever that word is. Um, it's like raisins or something in it. Huh, yeah, I, I see think, there's some blueberries or two or something. Yeah, I think actually bread pudding does have raisins. It's very good though. <laughs> Let's give it a whirl. <laughs> You know what? I want a blueberry with it too. <laughs> wow. Yeah. It's raisin, isn't it? 
I don't know why, but it, I guess it's a cinnamon, but it reminds me of an apple cinnamon yeah. like, turnover or something yeah. like that. But. We hope you enjoyed part one of our food tour in St. Augustine. Please keep an eye for part two coming soon. Thank you for watching our video.